वेलकम टू शेखर मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स सेमिस्टर वन फर्स्ट चैप्टर रेशनल नंबर्स एक्सरसाइज 1.1 इट इज एन एन बुक फॉर क्लास एट बिफोर गोइंग टू डू द एक्सरसाइज 1.1 लेट अस लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट रेशनल नंबर्स नंबर वन रेशनल नंबर्स आर क्लोज अंडर द ऑपरेशन ऑफ एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन नंबर टू द ऑपरेशन एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन आर नंबर वन कामिटेटिव फॉर रेशनल नंबर्स दैट इज इफ वी टेक ए एंड बी आर इन टू रेशनल नंबर्स देन ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू बी प्लस ए इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ए इंटू बी इज इक्वल टू बी इंटू ए नंबर टू असोसिएटिव फॉर रेशनल नंबर्स इफ वी टेक ए बी सी आर एनी थ्री रेशनल नंबर्स देन ए प्लस बी प्लस सी is equal to a plus b plus c for addition in multiplication a into b into c is equal to a into b into c number 3 the rational numbers 0 is the additive identity for rational numbers that means if we take any rational number a then a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a number 4 the rational number 1 is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers that is if we take a a rational number then a into 1 is equal to 1 into a is equal to a number 5 the additive inverse of the rational number a by b is minus a by b and the additive inverse of the rational number minus a by b is a by b number 6 the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of the rational number a by b is c by d if a by b into c by d is equal to 1 number 7 distributivity of rational numbers for all rational numbers a b and c a into b plus c is equal to ab plus ac and a into b minus c is equal to ab minus ac now let us do exercise 1.1 let us take first problem using appropriative properties find the below sum now solution observe that minus 3 by 5 is a common factor here so let us write the first term as it is in the first place let us write the last term in the second place now let us write the middle term in the last place now using distributive property Let us take uh, minus three by five as a common factor. Now in brackets, two by three plus one by six plus five by two. Now observe that in the bracket, the fractions have the different denominators. So to make them like fractions, so we have to multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by two. Then we get minus three by five into 2 into 2 is 4 in the denominator 3 into 2 is 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2 now observe that the fractions are converted into like fractions so we can simply add so minus 3 by 5 into 5 by 6 because 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 5 by 2 now using closer property we can easily multiply or simplify on simplification by 5 5 one times 5 one times on simplification by 3 minus 1 times 2 times that is minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 by in the denominator 1 into 2 is 2 plus 5 by 2 now observe that the denominators are equal so they are like fractions So five minus one is four by two. On simplification by two, two two times that is equal to two is the answer. Now let us do second problem solution. Two by five is a common factor here. So let us write the first term in the first place, the last term in the second place. the middle term in the last place now using distributive property let us take 2 by 5 as a common factor 
in brackets minus 3 by 7 plus 1 by 14 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Now observe that the fractions in the brackets have different denominators. So to make them like fractions, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator of the first fraction by 2. Then we get minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. 7 into 2 is 14. Now these fractions have converted into like fractions. Then we can easily add or subtract. Observe that minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Now using closer property, we can easily multiply or simplify. On simplification by 5, 5 1 times, 5 minus 1 times. On simplification by 2, 2 1 time, 2 7 times. On simplification by 3, 3 1 time, 3 2 times. Now observe that 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. 1 into 7 is 7, so minus 1 by 7. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. And in the denominator, 2 into 2 is 4. So, minus 1 by 4. Now, observe that the denominators are not equal. So, they are not like fractions. To make them like fractions, let us multiply both numerator and denominator of the first fraction by 4. And let us multiply numerator and denominator of the second fraction by 7. Then we get... Minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 in the numerator. 7 into 4 is 28 in the denominator. Now minus 1 into 7 is minus 7 in the numerator. 4 into 7 is 28 in the denominator. That is minus 4 by 28 minus 7 by 28. Now observe that the denominators are equal. So these are like fractions. Now we can simply add or subtract. Observe that minus 4 and minus 7 is equal to minus 11. So that is equal to minus 11 by 28 is the answer. Now let us do second problem. Write the additive inverse of each of the following. Additive inverse of x is equal to minus x. So additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8. Number 2. Additive inverse of minus x is equal to x. So additive inverse of minus 5 by 9 is equal to 5 by 9. Additive inverse of x is equal to minus x. Observe that minus 6 by minus 5 minus minus or get cancelled. It is 6 by 5. So additive inverse of 6 by 5 is minus 6 by 5. Additive inverse of minus x equal to x. So additive inverse of 2 by minus 9 is equal to 2 by 9. Again additive inverse of minus x equal to x. So additive inverse of 19 by minus 6 equal to 19 by 6. Now let us do third problem. Verify that minus of minus x is equal to x for 1, 2. Solution 1 x is equal to 11 by 15. We know that 11 by 15 plus minus 11 by 15 equal to 0. If we take 11 by 15 as x, then minus 11 by 15 becomes minus x. So add to inverse of x which is 11 by 15 is minus x that is minus 11 by 15. Add to inverse of minus x that is minus 11 by 15 is Minus of minus x that is becomes 11 by 15. So we can say that minus of minus x is equal to x because 11 by 15 is equal to x. Hence it is proved. Solution 2. We know that minus 13 by 7 when added to 13 by 7 it gives 0. If we take minus 13 by 7 as x then 13 by 7 becomes minus x. So add to inverse of x that is minus 13 by 7 is minus x which is equal to 13 by 7. Now add to inverse of minus x that is 13 by 7 is equal to 
minus of minus x which is equal to minus 13 by 7 so minus of minus x is becomes x because here minus 13 by 7 is x hence it is proved now let us do fourth problem find the multiplicative inverse of the following 1 2 3 4 5 6 multiplicative inverse of x is equal to 1 by x multiplicative inverse of 1 by x is equal to x multiplicative inverse of x by y is equal to y by x so solution 1 multiplicative inverse of minus 13 is 1 by minus 13 which is equal to minus 1 by 13 solution 2 multiplicative inverse of minus 13 by 19 is equal to 19 by minus 13 which is equal to minus 19 by 13 solution 3 multiplicative inverse of 1 by 5 is equal to 5 by 1 which is equal to 5 now solution for minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 in the numerator minus 5 into minus 3 is 15 in the denominator 8 into 7 is 56 so multiplicative inverse of 15 by 56 is equal to 56 by 15 solution 5 minus 1 into minus 2 by 5 which is equal to in the numerator minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 in the denominator 5 so 2 by 5 so multiplicative inverse of 2 by 5 is equal to 5 by 2 now solution 6 multiplicative inverse of minus 1 is equal to 1 by minus 1 which is also equal to minus 1 now let us do fifth problem name the property under multiplication used in each of the following solution by multiplying with 1 the fraction minus 4 by 5 does not change its value does not change its identity so it is called the identity property in second problem observe that on the left side the two fractions are multiplied on the right side the same fractions are multiplied but their positions are changed again their product are equal so it is called the commutative property here observe that the product of two fractions is equal to 1 when the product of two numbers is equal to 1 then they are called multiplicative inverse to each other or reciprocal to each other then it is called the inverse property now let us do problem number 6 multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 observe the word reciprocal means multiplicative inverse of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7 so let us write 6 by 13 and then multiplication symbol into and then minus 16 by 7 that is reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 which gives by multiplying numerator 6 into minus 16 is minus 96 13 into 7 is 91 so minus 96 by 91 is the answer now let us do seventh problem tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 solution write 1 by 3 with letter a 6 by b 4 by 3 by c write equal to in place of as then we get that a into b into c is equal to a into b into c it is called the associative property under multiplication now eighth problem is 8 by 9 the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 1 by 8 why or why not solution let us write minus 1 1 by 8 convert into improper fraction using plus and into it can be written as minus of 8 into 1 plus 1 by denominator 8 that is minus 9 by 8 now multiplicative inverse of minus 9 by 8 is equal to minus 8 by 9 
because their product that is minus 9 by 8 into minus 8 by 9 is equal to 1 whereas the product of minus 9 by 8 into 8 by 9 is equal to minus 1 which is not equal to 1 so 8 by 9 is not the multiplicative inverse now let us do ninth problem is 0 0.3 the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3 why or why not solution let us convert 3 1 by 3 into improper fraction using plus sign into that is 3 into 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 10 by 3. Now multiplicative inverse of 10 by 3 is equal to 3 by 10. 3 by 10 can be written as 0 0.3 because 10 by 3 into 3 by 10 is equal to 1. Its product is equal to 1. So 3 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse. Now 10 write number 1 the rational number that does not have a reciprocal. 0 0 does not have the multiplicative inverse because 1 by 0 is not defined. Number 2 the rational numbers that are equal to their reciprocals are 1 and minus 1. Because multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 and multiplicative inverse of minus 1 is equal to 1 by minus 1 which is also equal to minus 1. Number 3. The rational number that is equal to its negative. It is only one number that is 0. Now number 11. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. 0 has dash reciprocal no reciprocal number 2 the numbers dash and dash are their own reciprocals 1 and minus 1 the reciprocal of minus 5 is minus 1 by 5 4 reciprocal of 1 by x is x 5 the product of two rational numbers is always a rational number number 6 the reciprocal of a positive rational number is again a positive rational number only. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe.